This is my alarm clock. You can see that there's a dock for your phone and when the robot hears the alarm on the phone go off, it triggers a program to start to roll away from you. So you have to get out of bed and chase it to turn it off. So this is my program. I have a wait block here. So it waits and I have it to wait until it hears a change in the sound. That's what my sound, that's where my sound sensor is connected. So it hears a change in the sound and I have my sound sensor connected to port four. Here you have to play around with the sensitivity of the sound sensor. If you have it too low, it gets triggered every single time. As soon as you press play, it gets triggered straight away just with the background noise. And if you have it too high, the robot will not start when it hears the alarm. So you have to play around and find what the right uh, sensitivity is for your purpose. Um, the other thing to look out for is if you have it too low and there's background noises when the person is sleeping, like a dog barking or a car driving past in the background, it might trigger the robot straight away and you don't really want that to happen. So play around with the sensitivity. Next up, so after it senses sound, it loops just a simple move forward, one rotation move forward with motor A and D at 100% on both motors and it stops once it senses touch, a change in state of the touch sensor. So once it senses a touch, so the first wall or obstacle, then it's going to roll backwards. You can see it's a very similar block to this one with motor A and D, and it's going to roll backwards for two rotations just so it gets a little bit of room to turn around. This block here makes it turn around. You can see one motor goes forward and one motor goes backwards. On my robot, the way that it is set up, the motor forward and backwards makes it turn left, as you can see in the previous video. And it turns left for one rotation, which makes it turn uh, about, what is that, 90 degrees. And then it rolls again, continuously, until finally it hits its last obstacle and then stops. So you can tell that this is exactly the same as this block here these two blocks.